Hello friends and family, this is Isabella with Every Day with the Holy Spirit. I want to welcome you. Every Day with the Holy Spirit is a daily devotional for worshippers. It's available on Amazon, so feel free to get a copy for yourself to help you in your daily walk with the Holy Spirit. Remember that prayer is not a one-way street. Prayer is a two-way communication between you and your maker. And the Holy Spirit helps us in this book. Amazing, amazing thing is that every single day you receive a love letter from the Holy Spirit. And in doing this, you get to know the heart of the Father. It helps you give you direction for the day. And so today, the theme is be set apart. This, I tell you, the theme of today especially excites me. In my life, I've found myself in this place so many times that actually I get excited whenever I hear the Holy Spirit call me onto a time of consecration or separated unto him. So today we're talking about be set apart. That's what he wants us. And our scripture reference for today is Acts chapter 13 verse 2. And I'm going to be reading from the New King James Version. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Spirit said, Now separate to me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Oh, I don't want to run ahead of myself. Let me read the letter from the Holy Spirit first and then we can get to share some more. My beloved, separation is part of the price you have to pay if you desire an intimate relationship with me. If you desire to be used mightily by God, you will need to take risks and step out of your comfort zone. Separation is often a painful process because it may cost you some comfort, some friendships, some associations. You may have to forfeit the things you enjoy doing or having whilst doing the things you don't necessarily enjoy doing. To be set apart often means you are going against the grain. To stand out from the crowd means you have to be different and sometimes you have to stick out like a sore thumb there is no jumping on the bandwagon or going with the flow of societal norms for you when you have been set apart. Your choices and your acts of obedience may even attract ridicule. It may attract attacks and harsh judgments from those around you. Consecration is a lifestyle of the separated and the sacred place often becomes their dwelling place. There are no shortcuts with me. There is always a process between the promise and the manifestation of anything worth having. The price is high and may seem like a tasking and thankless job, but the price is priceless. Today, I urge you to pay the price of being set apart. Learn to embrace the beauty of stillness and harness the benefits of the secret place. It will be worth it and more when all is said and done. If you stay the course, I am here for you. I love you. That is the love letter from the Holy Spirit. And on a, from a personal perspective, I have so much to say about this. The cost of being set apart is high but worth every pain, worth every ridicule, worth every moment spent in what seems to be loneliness, stillness, silence. It's so worth it. Let us pray. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit, for drawing me closer and for revealing to me the reality of your wonderful presence and power every day. I honor your presence and influence in my life and today I choose what you have for me because I know that you are for me and never against me. 
Grant me strength, grant me wisdom and courage to walk the path of my calling despite any challenges that may come my way. Give me resilience in the face of resistance and adversity that comes with being set apart. Today I choose to forsake any lifestyle that alienates me or alienates you from me. Keep me in love and harmony with Jesus. Keep me in love and in harmony with Jesus, with the will of the Father for me. Let me love what you love and want what you want for me. Draw me away from the noise of men that I may hear your voice clearly and accurately. Awaken a passion for the secret place in my heart. Help me to press toward the mark or for the price of the high calling and to finish well. In Jesus' name, amen. It's a very dangerous prayer <laughs> that we have just prayed. Being set apart is not a joke. As the Holy Spirit himself has told you today, sometimes it will mean forfeiting the things you enjoy doing. It may be while others are out partying, you're on your knees praying. While others are feasting, you are fasting. Oh yes, there's a price to pay for being set apart. Today, the Holy Spirit is calling you to the place of consecration, to a place of being set apart. Whatever does not add value to your eternal inheritance and life in Jesus Christ, take it out of your program for today. Focus on Jesus. Live every day with the Holy Spirit. I want to encourage you to make a conscious decision to pull away from the noise of men, to pull away from distractions, and sometimes it could be even relationships that you need to pull away from. Those things that interfere with your spiritual growth, be set apart. Even within yourself, identify those habits and those triggers, those things that unsettle you, those th things that, that bring distractions to you. Be intentional about your choices and your decisions that you make today so that your actions will align with the prayers that you have already prayed. Be set apart. Our supporting scriptures for today is taken from 2 Corinthians 6.17. Please, this is what the Lord says. Come out from among them and be ye separate. Be separate. That means something. So I want to encourage you that today as you walk with the Holy Spirit, separate yourself from anything that would separate you from the Holy Spirit. God bless you and keep you. Until next time, it's Isabella with Every Day with the Holy Spirit. Stay blessed.